Welcome to Our Carbon Footprint, an Earth Smart program, an education program of the Environmental Center. You've already seen our video about carbon in the atmosphere and what it does. And now that we've got you hooked, we're going to find out our bigger question. What changes can we make to protect our planet? Let's dive in. Here's a QR code that you can scan and you'll be able to pull up our entire lesson plan around our carbon footprint. It will guide you through a series of videos, activities, and questions that you can do on your own or with your family. Once you've gone through all this lesson plan link, feel free to come back to this video to participate in our calculation of our carbon footprint activity. Now let's take our own carbon footprint survey. We'll discover what our individual carbon footprint is, which we know we all leave behind. We can all try and be more earth smart and reduce the impact on our planet through changes in our daily lives. When we calculate your carbon footprint, you'll find out exactly how much carbon dioxide you produce, which we know is a greenhouse gas. So we'll determine how you contribute to global warming. We need to know a few things before we get started. We'll be asking you a series of questions about your individual practices and behaviors in your daily lives. So oftentimes you might need to pause and reflect. So before we complete the survey, you'll need a few things. Three different crayons to represent three different categories of the behaviors that we're surveying. We're gonna be using red for the home energy and transportation category, blue for food and packaging, and green for eco-friendly behaviors. Three colors, your choice, you can use the same ones we use or use three different colors. The second thing you'll need is a piece of paper and marker to trace your footprint on the paper. You'll see a video of Miss Geneva doing that here. That will be your template to start with. Number three, like I said, during the video, you'll be able to pause and give yourselves time to think about the questions that we're asking and then color in the footprint accordingly. You can then press play when you're ready for the next question. Here's an example of a foot template. Obviously, yours won't look exactly the same, but however you trace your foot will be perfect. We divided the foot into three categories starting from the bottom, and you can see we drew 12 different lines to represent each of the questions we'll be surveying you on. You'll need to set your foot up just like this. Now's a great time to pause and use this template as a model for your paper at home. Now we're ready for question one. In the home energy and transportation category, we'll be using the red color to shade in the next four questions. One by one, here we go. Number one asks, if you use energy efficient light bulbs, such as CFLs, compact fluorescent lights, or LEDs, color half of box one red. If your family has mainly incandescent lights, color one whole box red. Now, incandescent lights are these older type of light bulbs, similar to the ones we used in the light bulb thermometer experiment in the last video. Many homes still have these type of light bulbs, even though they're considered a little bit out of date. LED light bulbs and CFLs, compact fluorescent lights, are different in that they produce neither either no heat or very little heat and mostly light. They're more efficient, they last longer, and they save energy in your home. LED and CFLs are becoming more common in households, 
but you might pause the video here and check what some of your main lights have. If you mostly have incandescent lights, that's okay. You're gonna color uh, all of box one red. If you know your family has many CFLs or even LEDs, you're gonna color half of box one red, which means you can color all the way to this dash mark, halfway from one end to the middle, instead of coloring the entire box. Question two. Do you remember to turn off lights and gaming systems when you're not using them? If yes, color half of box two red. If no, color all of box two red. Think about how often you turn off your gaming console, your laptop, or any other devices when you're not using them. Powering down is different than just turning off the screen. Really think about the types of electronics you use and how they're powered off or not. If you mostly turn things off all the time, go ahead and color half of box two red. If you're unsure or maybe sometimes you forget, color all of box two red. Question three. On average, how long are TVs, gaming systems, and iPads in use every day? If one to three hours, you're gonna color half of box three red. Four to six hours or more, color all of box three red. So think about your average screen time that you have daily. You can think about it during the times we're in right now, or you can think about it on an average day before the pandemic altered a lot of our daily activity. Whichever way you wanna go for it, that works. But typically, if you don't have a lot of screen time, maybe one to three hours a day, maybe a little bit before school, a little bit after school, color half of box three red. If you know you're on your TVs and your gaming systems and your iPads and things like that for many hours a day, again, which is all right, we want some honest answers here color all of box three red. The more honest you are, the closer you'll get to calculating your individual carbon footprint. Moving on to question four. This is the last question in the home energy and transportation category, so we're still using the red color. Number four says, how do you travel to school? If you walk, bike, or scooter, color half of box four red. If you take the bus, carpool, or ride in an individual car, color all of box four red. Moving on to the food and packaging category. Here's the deal. We're gonna be using blue now for the next four questions. Remember, some of your answers might be different depending on the day, it might be different depending on whether you're staying home right now or not, but just think on average, what, does you, what do you and your family typically do? Number five, how many meals per day do you eat meat? If you're a vegetarian, don't color in a box five at all. If you eat meat once a day, color half of box five blue. If you eat meat two to three times a day, color all of box five blue. And remember, we want honest, accurate answers. If you eat bacon for breakfast and for lunch and for dinner, you always have some form of meat, that's already two times a day. So you're in the box five blue, coloring all of box five blue. So just be honest with yourself on this one. Number six. After eating lunch at school, how much packaging do you throw away? If you throw everything away, color all of box six blue, which would look just something like this, where you have 
your sandwich that you ate, but then you throw away the sandwich bag. You eat all your chips, drink all your juice, but then you have these to throw away. If you take everything home to reuse, color half of box six blue, which looks like this. You eat every last crumb that's in here, but look, you take home your Tupperware and even your napkin and fork to reuse again. Now, if you typically get the lunch at school and you go through the cafeteria line and you eat every last crumb from your school tray, do you still have things to throw away? Typically the answer is yes. You're throwing away a boat or maybe a fork or silverware of some kind. So think about how your school operates and how much trash there is that doesn't include food, that just includes packaging. Kind of tricky. Question seven, does your family try to grow their own food or buy food locally from a farmer's market or a, a farm share, something like that? If yes, color half of box seven blue. And if not, which is totally fine, maybe you get all your groceries from the grocery store, you're gonna color all of box seven blue. We're thinking about how far our food travels and the amount of packaging that it came with in the first place. So typically, if you buy a lot of local food at a farmer's market or a farm share, you might not have as much packaging and it hasn't traveled as far. Not always easy to do, especially in winter months. Question eight, does your family buy in bulk to reduce single use plastic in packaging? If yes, color half of box eight blue. If no, color all of box eight blue. Bulk, you might think of as going to Costco and buying a lot of something. That doesn't always count as bulk items. Oftentimes there's just as much packaging when you're buying more of something. Think about the bulk aisle like this one in a local grocery store. This is at Food for Less and they have many, many items that you can go fill up containers or old bags and things with the food that you're trying to refill. For example, beans, nuts, rice, candy, chocolate chips, flour, they have it all. Oftentimes when we buy in bulk, we're reducing how much packaging we're buying at the same time. And it doesn't have to come from an aisle like this. Sometimes you might see the bigger bag of chips as opposed to the small bags that will be gone and thrown away immediately after we eat them. So if your family tries to reduce single use plastic and packaging, color half of box eight blue. If you notice you have a lot of packaging that's often thrown away, again, this is okay. We just want some honest um, answers here. Color all of box eight blue. Then we can later make changes in our daily lives if this is something we want to help avoid. Question nine. We're now into the green category or whatever new color you choose, which is called eco-friendly behaviors. Number nine says, do you recycle at home? Pretty straightforward. If yes, color half of box nine green. If no, color all of box nine green. Maybe you recycle some things, but not others. Maybe just cans or maybe just paper. Either way, if you recycle, color half of box nine green. Number 10, do you try and reuse items over and over again? For instance, do you use durable products over disposable products? If you reuse, color half of box 10 green. If you dispose of or throw away most items, color all of box 10 green. Here are some great examples of reusing. These old blueberry cans now as utensil holders. Old leather boots are now flower pots. And this old grater was spray painted and now holds earrings. So adorable. This doesn't mean you have to reuse every single thing, but if you try and think of ways that things can be reused again and again instead of ending up in the landfill, then color half of box 10 green. But if you notice many things that you buy, that your family buys and uses, are thrown away immediately after use, then color all of box 10 green. Number 11, do you try to reduce food waste through choices like portioning, composting, and eating what you take? 
If yes, color half of box 11 green. If no, color all of box 11 green. So things like portioning, only taking what you know that you're gonna eat and eating what you take, and then composting food. All of those count as reducing your food waste. So if you do things like that to help reduce food waste, color half of box 11 green. If not, if you notice that there's a lot of wasted food in your household and in the trash can at home, color all of box 11 green. We'll talk later about ways we can reduce our food waste. And the last question, a good one, do you practice water conservation in your home? such as turning off the faucet when brushing your teeth, taking shorter showers, and thinking about how often you water your lawn. If so, color half of box 12 green. If not, and you notice there's a lot of running faucets when, they're, when no one's using them, or if faucet, you know, there's leaks, or you take really long showers for no reason, color all of box 12 green. Water conservation simply means saving water. So if you save water in your home, color half of box 12 green. All right, now for the fun part. What you're gonna do now is you're going to add up all of the lines. So say you have seven and a half boxes filled in total, you're going to be in this range between seven and nine boxes. It would take three Earths if everyone lived like you, meaning one planet wouldn't be enough if all eight billion people on this planet lived the exact same way you do. We'd need two more planets to make up for the resources and land and water that it would take for that type of lifestyle. When you're adding your numbers, be sure you're adding your halves and your holes correctly so you know exactly where you fall. If you drew some toes on your footprint, you can color in the number of toes for the number of Earths right here that your lifestyle requires. And this will ultimately be your individual carbon footprint, three Earths or four Earths. Maybe you did great and you're between zero and four, it's pretty tricky to get there. I know I'm in this range and I'm trying to do better. Maybe you're down here, that's okay too. We're gonna learn some ways that we can decrease our carbon footprint. We obviously want a smaller one. So let's think about that. How can you reduce your carbon footprint? Think about which category of your footprint had the biggest impact. Did you color more in the red category, whole boxes? or were more of your green categories bigger impacts. We want to brainstorm three realistic behaviors or lifestyle changes to reduce your carbon footprint. So you can take a pencil and write on the back or on the side of your footprint some of these ways that could help you and your family at home to reduce your carbon footprints. Here's one of my ideas, take shorter showers. Just reducing your shower by two minutes can save over 30 gallons of water. So thinking about ideas based on the questions we surveyed you, what are some things you can do in your daily lives to decrease your carbon footprint? Share with your family, brainstorm with your family, and a fun activity is to hang this on the fridge and have a discussion about what a carbon footprint is and how you're trying to reduce it. I bet by telling your family, your siblings, neighbors and friends, they'll wanna reduce their carbon footprints as well and you can teach them how.